realize we're leaving tomorrow and you have not washed your clothes, don't even give me this like, what do you have ready? Other than the fact, because you drove the truck back doesn't mean that you're I, ready. Well, it I just means you, that we have the vehicle. I told you I wasn't ready. What is that noise in the back? He's got stuff, He's in, got the stuff in the bed. Yeah, he's got stuff in the bed. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, what? Did I not shut that, Wes? Holy! <laughs> Dude, that is so much! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, I gotta pull over right now. This is oh, so John bad. B doesn't know how to close a truck. I don't have a truck, so I, keep, I don't really remember this stuff. Left the bed of the truck open. Everything came spilling out. We have $1,000 to spend on gas, food, lodging to last us eight days. We are gonna rough this trip. We've got a tent. We've got some, what do we got? Some, some pillows? Pillow, that's it. Tent some pillows. pillows. Maybe some rods. We got some blankets. We got a boat. We got a boat. <laughs> and that's all we've got. We've got a lot to do. Let's go do some stuff. Okay. I literally just parked right in front of us before about to pull out. And it's kind of difficult to... It's this, it's this guy right here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Wow, was it that freaking hard? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, We just asked okay. you to move. Oh, sorry, I got a triple rig going on right now. <laughs> Sorry, I can't just back this thing up with ease like you got your little forerunner there. God. Fishing wise, electronic wise, like gear wise, we're pretty much set. The truck is connected to the boat. Uh, the only thing we're missing that we really wanted to bring was the thing that was supposed to be in between this, which was our little trailer, which basically is like a tent, it's a grill, it's everything, it's a fridge, it's a charger. But uh, we it's had a little a shower. You've it's got a that. shower. It's a shower. I'm not even making this up. But uh, we had a little mishap with that, so we're leaving it behind. Uh, mishap is an understatement. It was it was a disaster. It was it was borderline. This is a disaster. This is the fine line that kind of My you know God, how did we not just separates split? us living to disaster, and we were just God. below that disaster line. So. Okay, no trailer. No trailer. You know, I'm happy to be alive, first of all, and I'm also happy that nothing is broken, thankfully. So we gotta plug the boat in, and we're ready. They're ready to throw tomorrow. Not super early though. Maybe maybe 4 a.m., 3 a.m. More like <laughs> 10 in the afternoon. All right, let's get out of here. Today's kind of a play it by ear day. This is well, wait, first wait, wait, of all, stop, the, whole stop. Trip, the whole trip is the whole trip is play it by ear. Today is figuring our our trip out day. Yeah. Today's the morning of our expedition. It's a little after 10 a.m. I think. Kind of a late start, but you know we're not really on a time crunch here, so we're not too worried about getting there on time. Our main goal is to, at least I'd like to get past the uh, Minnesota border, but uh, we'll have to see what Squeaky McGee says. We're almost ready to roll. We're very close. Just gotta get a few odds and ends packed up and we should be right. on a roll this much closer to catching some fish. now we finally made it we're still in uh, in the outskirts of Chicago we uh, we haven't really made it far though so how far we made we literally were three minutes out so we made, made some good progress we just put in our the GPS coordinates for Mille Lacs 
we're gonna shoot for there. We don't know if we're gonna fish there. But we want to be around Mille Lacs area. Mille Lacs is a fantastic largemouth fishery and smallmouth, right? A little bit of both. I've never. Uh, fished I don't it. know if there's largemouth. I've never fished it. He's never fished it, so it should be pretty. Uh, We've never fished anything. We don't fished. know. We've, We've never, okay, yeah. Over here. We've actually never been to Minnesota. <laughs> He's never been to Canada. I've only been to Manitoba. I've never been to. I think we're going to Ontario. We also need to get fishing licenses. We need to get fishing licenses, fishing lures. Uh, we need to catch some fish. So we need to get some food too. I like food. <laughs> Rotten bacon, what? Rotten bacon double burger? What? <laughs> We're gonna wait to What? <laughs> oh my gosh, look, it's like a church. Look at it, it's got like stained glass and everything. This is like the Brat Church. Dude, this looks amazing. Yeah, well, we're gonna be gone for a while. <laughs> we're gonna we might as well run a hotel around here anyway, because I'm gonna fall asleep after eating these. Can I get the um, Italian sausage? $45 worth of brats and cheese curds. That was a little expensive. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think we're really understanding. We only have a thousand dollars yet. But once we get down to like the $200, and we're still in Minnesota, and we're gonna have to dip into the. You know what? It was so worth it. Take a look at this. It would be worth 40 bucks if we didn't need the money for like... Yeah, for like other essentials. Like we're gonna be like struggling to buy water. We're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to like boil our own water by the time we're done with this freaking trip. We just left the Brat House. I am now driving because Perrick's feeling a little sleepy. Drove like three miles and now it's my turn, I guess. So I Drove half the way. <laughs> Dude, we still have 200 miles left. You know that, right? We have 302 miles. Let's Where do you have me going? Some random person's house? Yeah. The key is we want to try and get on some water today before we uh, head to Walmart, before we do all the stuff that we could do at nighttime uh, when we don't have the lighting that we do during the day. We have got off the highway to fish some remote, they're called cranberry bogs, I call them. I fished a couple when I was a kid. All I remember was there's a, there's a bass in there and the scenery's pretty cool. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. But these ponds are used to irrigate the cranberries uh, so you can have water all year round even if they've got a drought or low water up here so they don't have to waste waste actual water they it's kind of like a retention pond but there are bass in here i've caught bass in these um all i the only thing i do not know is if the boat is going to make it into this launch can we, can we put it in this no there's another one that looked good this, this one's sketchy doesn't look too good it's a giant drop though dude your back Stop. What are you doing? You're gonna dump the whole freaking truck in the water. It's so close. Alright, let me just keep going back. A it's little bit. Not not too much. The truck is literally almost in the water. Okay, stop. Oh my god. Oh. That was a major failure. We I knew that that ramp was not the best ramp, but I thought we could get her in there. Thank God for the uh oh. There's just mud just slinging right now. That's good. Right, going back there with something, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Oh, there's water. There we go. That's solid. Yeah, well, this ramp was a little bit better than the last one. Um, thankfully, we were able to get out of that, that one last sticky situation. Yeah, this looks like stuff. some northern water stuff, and we're going to be fishing frogs and maybe little sun baits and craws and all that good stuff. So I'm, I'm stoked. This is I've been antsy all day. I just wanted to get a rod in, in my hand and start casting out a, a, a frog there. But, uh, Can you take that hook out of my foot? Oh! Ah! There you go. And uh, hopefully catch some fish here very shortly. Got him? Good it? It's a big one. Is it? No, it's not. No, he's still long. Is it? No, he's still long. He's usually like a four foot. He's lost. He's off. He was a little guy. I feel like this is the kind of place there's like a big pipe in, too. Like a, like a big gator. It's about 42, 43 incher. I saw that. Just come rushing through the pads. Crack him. We need a show. Ain't no gill, Bubba. <laughs> Ain't no gill. <laughs> The first bass of the Never Stop Fishing Canada, Northern Wisconsin, Northern Minnesota tour is a giant. 
maybe nine inches long. That's what we're looking for. So we're gonna keep plucking along. I saw that. <laughs> oh that was a crazy huge fight. What the heck? Yeah, okay. Oh boy, one of those kind of days, huh? Heads up. Well. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't good. <laughs> this is not good. No. It seems to be the only size we found. Um, but uh, hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. I don't think this this little lake has got the biggins in it. This is what New Wisconsin is all about. Oh. oh wait. Oh. That's a good or darker water. We start finding them maybe. That looks like it was bigger than mine too, but by a centimeter too. That might be a centimeter larger than mine. All right, now we're on them, guys. Now, we might have a scared. problem where all the fish are the same size because we've only got like seven this size. <laughs> make sure you, re these guys are, you gotta make sure you release them really nice. The key really the oh. on. Oh, that's a decent one. Oh yeah. Is it? That's, that's the size we're looking for today, boys. Wisconsin largemouth. This is what Northern Waters is all about, folks. You see, when you're out here and you're trying to make a show for fish, for, for fishing, it's difficult to catch the toads. So we've resulted to catching only small fish during this excursion. Actually, the one main goal today is to catch the smallest. It looks like Peric right now is winning. This is probably literally, I'm not even kidding, the largest fish we've caught all the day. Nice gut, real healthy dark green back um, and just beautiful red gills. We're gonna get her back in the water. Hopefully she continues to reproduce and catch and uh, you know, jumps on someone else's line. You guys how small these fish were. They were very tiny. Like very, very tiny. So we got a two pound limit. Yeah. Now now we're gonna go shoot for maybe a fifteen pound limit. Yeah, we're gonna go to Mille Lacs now. <laughs> 